In mathematics, the Bochner integral, named for Salomon Bochner, extends the definition of Lebesgue integral to functions that take values in a Banach space, as the limit of integrals of simple functions. Definition. Let be a measure space and be a Banach space. The Bochner integral is defined in much the same way as the Lebesgue integral. First, a simple function is any finite sum of the form where the A are disjoint members of the sigma algebra are sigma, the by are distinct elements of B. In chi E is the characteristic function of E. If mu is finite whenever by is zero, then the simple function is integrable, and the integral is then defined by exactly as it is for the ordinary Lebesgue integral, a measurable function f. X B is Bochner integrable if there exists a sequence of integrable simple functions S n such that where the integral on the left hand side is an ordinary Lebesgue integral. In this case, the Bochner integral is defined by it can be shown that a function is Bochner integrable if and only if it lies in the Bochner space. Properties Many of the familiar properties of the Lebesgue integral continue to hold for the Bochner integral. Particularly useful is Bochner's criterion for integrability, which states that if is a measure space, then a Bochner measurable function f. x b is Bochner integrable if and only if a function f. x b is called Bochner measurable if it is equal mu almost everywhere to a function g taking values in a separable subspace b o of b and such that the inverse image g-1 of every open set u in b belongs to sigma. Equivalently, f is limit mu almost everywhere of a sequence of simple functions. If is a continuous linear operator, and is Bochner integrable, then is Bochner integrable an integration and may be interchanged. This also holds for closed operators, given that B itself integrable. A version of the dominated convergence theorem also holds for the Bochner integral. Specifically, if Fn xb is a sequence of measurable functions on a complete measure space tending almost everywhere to a limit function f, and if for almost every xx and gl1, then as n infinity and for all e sigma. If f is Bochner integrable, then the inequality holds for all e sigma. In particular, the set function defines a countably additive b-valued vector measure on x which is absolutely continuous with respect to mu. Radon Nikodym property An important fact about the Bochner integral is that the Radon Nikodym theorem fails to hold in general. This results in an important property of Banach spaces known as the Radon Nikodym property. Specifically, if mu is a measure on, then B has the Radon Nikodym property with respect to mu if, for every countably additive vector measure on with values in B which has bounded variation and is absolutely continuous with respect to mu. There is a mu integrable function g, x b such that for every measurable set e sigma, the Banach space b has the radon Nikodym property if b has the radon Nikodym property with respect to every finite measure. It is known that the space has the radon Nikodym property, but and the spaces, for an open bounded subset of and, for k an infinite compact space, do not. Spaces with radon Nikodym property include separable dual spaces and reflexive spaces, which include, in particular, Hilbert spaces.